hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about TikTok again and we're going to talk about a, a test I did I did a test based on one of my one of my followers the ones I'm following one of the people I'm following he talked about doing a video 20 videos in one day to see how that affects your views and your followers and your you know your audience on TikTok so I tried that I actually did 35 in a day and a half and it was just basically doing video every single hour uh every half half hour and seeing the results I kept track of what's going on and I'm going to show you what happened was it good was it bad what did I learn from it and what can you expect if you try that and maybe maybe uh what I did you'll learn uh tips and strategies on what maybe not to do or maybe what you can do what was good about like I said what was good what was bad and we're gonna get in that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so it was quite the interesting strategy I just thought you know what maybe let me just show you what this was all about so I'm actually going to show you on TikTok what it looks like let me just uh, share the screen over here uh share my screen share my screen there you go so this is my TikTok account I only I don't have like a million followers I, and if you're seeing this through one of the TikTok you're going to see that I don't have that many followers but that's not really the point the point is I'm learning all sorts of strategies all sorts of things and this was actually something I learned from uh, this fella here right over here this was a, a tip that he had on there let me just uh, turn the sound on is it on no there's no sound uh where's the sound where do you turn the sound on this is weird this is different it just a couple days ago there was a little thing on the side to turn the sound on not really sure but anyways he's explaining to do 20 posts in a day challenge right so he's showing if I go back if I go to his uh his actual post Jeff Kur do you want me to look at your account and tell you the things that I think you personally need to be focusing on in order to grow faster on TikTok? I'm kicking off my biggest contest ever and it starts right now. I'm going to be picking three people to give an account review and it's going to go right here on my main channel in front of my nearly 90,000 followers by the time this is over. If you would like to enter, I need you to make sure you're following me, like this post, comment ME on this post. That'll tell me how many of you are going to enter this and make sure you share it somewhere as well. After you've commented ME, you have to pick a 24 hour period and you need to post your account 20 times. Yeah, you heard me right, 20 times. The whole point of this, I wanna to prove to you that you can be posting a lot more than you are. So whether or not you win the account review, you're gonna unlock a mental mindset shift. So everybody who enters will be a winner in, in a way. Don't post your content too close together, like at least 30 minutes between posts. And you should be proud of these posts. When you're done, come back and reply to your comment and say done and go. Do you want me to look at your account? So that's what it was. And as you can see, it's kind of confusing because I'm doing the reverse. The, the, the screen's actually there, but and it's there. But anyways, as you can see right there, I I did I did uh say that I tried it out. I'm told him to telling him what I did, whatever. And uh I didn't get any kind of feedback from him. I I mean maybe I will after this or in something, I'm not sure, but he's uh he's got lots of posts. If I if uh, I just go to his um and tell you the things that his uh his account right actually it's right here on the side one of the, this is one of the cool things about uh TikTok now with the website now they have the website which is a uh, much more complete than it used to be we still can't comment on videos but we can like them and when we can see our for you page we can see our following page and we can see our top accounts and we can you know view videos actually it used to be that you couldn't see more than I don't know 30 videos or so and the rest were basically were just weren't available now you can just scroll through just the same as on the phone so it's pretty cool what you can do on the app now but anyways that's that isn't the point the point is me my profile what I did to do this what I did over here if you look through my old my videos I just did and and I'm I'm not telling you to do this because it didn't really I don't find it did a huge thing for me it didn't really make a big impact uh, but what I did is I took one of these episodes like the one I'm recording right now and I split it up into uh minute chunks so I took the video 
I have tools to do that it makes it easy for me so I just split it up into a bunch of minute parts that and ended up being 35 parts right and so I did that uh let me just move that uh, that on the side here so I did that 35 parts and as you can see I did part two part three part four I did all that and as you can see when I this is this is the number like this was let's see if uh, this was one week ago right so I actually posted this uh let's see I actually have a uh, the results here I actually posted that on the 12th of June right June 12th so that was that would be if we look at the calendar it would be a week ago last Friday so today we're Friday the 19th it was actually on the 12th so a week ago and what I did is if you look through here you can see that I kind of took what I did is I took screenshots let me show you that too if I go back to here into the so in this here I just took this video I, I split it up in a bunch of pieces like you can see right here and I did screenshots I did screenshots as I went so the first screenshot I took it was uh it done, you can't see it there but I saved it as a file name but that's when I first did it right a couple of videos were there just the first part part two part three part four part five so that was uh that would mean that it would have been about because I was doing one every half hour it would have been about uh one two at two hours and a half or three hours or so after starting right and then I just kept going and I did it every every time I every time I did I just took a new screenshot and I took a new screenshot and I took a new screenshot right as I went and eventually I, I you could see more and more uh anyways the numbers so what I did then is I put this in the spreadsheet the parts that are uh in pink is because those are estimates because I actually didn't take screenshots of these numbers uh but I did uh, later on I did screenshots of it the whole thing uh but that was just to kind of keep track right as you can see the number of views and you can see some of these videos right like this video here which was a stitch this this is part nine so part nine started at 19 47 73 80 82 and then it just kind of stayed there until right now it's still at 86 uh but uh some of them had higher numbers right like part 22 uh part number no that's a stitch so part number well actually this one here part number three right part number three 28 33 46 41 100 100 well 147 here 229 right so it kind of grew like that over time and it's at 234 now it still has a few more views right not nothing drastic this was this was this morning uh yesterday was 233 um you know on the 14th which would have been the Sunday it was at uh or the, actually the 14th yeah that 231 so as you can see it 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 really the first day the first two days is really where you get your results from growth now I think that one of the things that we can learn from this is that in my in my choice of videos right in my choice of videos uh how do I go back in my choice of videos I did a whoops let's just go back here so I chose a, a, a way of creating videos that probably isn't the best right I'm not I'm saying don't do this and I'll probably not, I'll never do this again for sure because you know TikTok isn't about having this 30 minute video that's split up in minutes that people see part one part two but I thought it would be cool to actually show that but you can see that there is some some lots of them, some of them have lots of views right I don't know how TikTok chose but it probably depends on some of the initial results when somebody saw that if there was engagement or not there actually there were almost no engagement I don't think there are any comments on any of these but there's some likes and you know if you look at some of the first ones this this part three here has 234 views right so that's pretty good considering my account and the number of views I normally get right if I go back to some of these videos I was doing one or two a day I would be getting 185 200 110 118 107 214 around 100 to 200 views which is and if I look at the last videos I posted in the last couple you know yesterday 180 views here 90 views here 186 240 right 193 so that's and 228 for the very last one I did yesterday and you know so that's kind of the number of views I'm getting right so how how does that compare to you know what what you'd want and if you if you look at somebody like Jeff Jeff Corre, Cor is it Corre? Corre, Corre, Jeff Corre. If I go back to his account, right, and I look at the, he did the 20 videos in one day. That was, when was that? That would have been, was that the one here? I think it was around here. Yeah. So these ones here, right, all these, he did 20. Uh, we can't, let me just zoom in a bit. 
there so make it bigger so you can see more uh so he did uh, he did um basically replies to different comments just he just went right through really quickly did a whole bunch of videos and you can see lots of them like this got 18k views this has got 10k views right this 15k right I mean he's got a, obviously a lot more followers but 16k but some of them see like 4,000 3,000 I mean compared to the 16k views they're not that much right 14k views here uh 11k views right uh so that's his typical I guess typically he gets like this 136k right that's really good right and this he just posts content about helping people online right it's kind of similar to what I do obviously but he's more specific maybe and that's something I probably have to improve on but in any case when he did his 20 videos it also didn't really he didn't find that it made a huge difference but I think it also depends on what kind of content you provide if you provide you know uh viral type of content right if you do something that's going to kind of be what people uh will will um respond to I mean if you learn about the viral tra tactics and things like that on TikTok or if you learn about these things I mean if I go to the, the, my top accounts I'm not really sure how that how TikTok works but I guess it shows the top accounts based on the ones you've engaged with recently or the ones you've liked or the ones you went through you know they're the account to 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 to, to, to engage with or commented on stuff or seen recently or whatever right um so I'm not even sure who these these accounts are but I guess they're people that I've engaged with right but you know Facebook uh, not Facebook but TikTok does kind of you know uh, figure what you're liking or commenting on or like this guy here I just I just found today he's got 207,000 he's some self some self-made millionaire he actually I he was actually in my for you page just today this is the first time I've seen him and look at that he's got look at all the, co all the content he's got which is really around the stuff that I'm interested in right the stuff that I'm wanting and that's you know here's a tip for you if you're trying to grow your audience on TikTok first you got to provide content that is related to your audience what they're interested in you got to be providing content around that and at the same time because TikTok is a video platform you got to do stuff that lets them learn who you are lets them you know understand your interest what you know that's why I do some of my gardening stuff I show the house I show I show um the stuff I'm doing outside and, and and the kind of work I do with my computer setup and all that I show those things because I, because people need to know who I am to to get to like me right and that's what you want you want people to know and like you so here's one thing here's one trick to grow the right audience in TikTok it's similar to the other social media platforms of course if you're going and you're liking people and you're and you're commenting on their stuff that'll you know like for like that kind of thing right where you like somebody's stuff just so that they like you back uh that's you know that does grow your followers you can certainly do that like you do on any other platform but the thing is that uh you want to go and find people that are in your niche so that you can see who is their followers and you follow those people so if you go to somebody like this in my case I'm going to click on the followers actually you can't do that on the phone on the computer I thought you could on the computer I was just going to show you but on the phone you just you just click on the followers right and then you can follow these these people the one other way you can do it is you look at one of their videos right and then you look at their followers I guess I this would take a long time on the computer but on the phone you can just tap this and follow them right uh if I click on here <clears throat> I can actually go follow that person right and if I go back yeah that's not very useful that's not very efficient but on the phone you can do that you can easily go to these people and you can follow them right and you can actually like their stuff comment on their stuff and you know basically one of the tactics is follow people who are following those that are in your niche so you know follow like in my niche right and make money online building a personal brand selling online courses I'm going to go and find people who who create courses and who teach how to create courses and I'm going to find people who teach about personal branding like Gary V I'm going to go find those accounts and I'm going to go see who their followers are and just go through their account and follow the the the, the follow their followers 
and if you want better results you want to go to each of those followers accounts look at their posts and like their posts and comment on some of their posts watch their posts things like that so you spend a little bit of time on every single one and the ones that don't even look like people you care about then don't worry about it skip to the next right make sure that they are they appear to be people that are interested in what you're doing and uh, yeah so that's one of the tips on TikTok on how to grow right the right audience is that is go through and look at the accounts that you're interested in um visual content creator right so she creates content about growing growing your audience just kind of the same stuff I do right so I would do the same thing I would go onto their followers right and I would uh look at these these people that they're following and I would follow them right so I'm going to follow this person and I could even like some of their posts right just like one one of these I can do that on the computer like this right now I'm not saying to do that that's not enough probably you'll probably want to look at their content you probably want to listen to it you probably want to comment on them right so that's the thing right so you gotta you gotta yeah but my point is that the best way to find the people that are in your niches to find them the the influencers in that niche and follow them right like you could follow my followers if you wanted to follow people who are interested in the stuff that I do and uh, so yeah so that's another thing so all right so the results there is like I said the results that I got if we look at this what we can see is the growth of say part number 10 video number uh, this is a stitch so I did a couple of other videos so I had a react over here that was a react from which didn't get uh, any number of views I, I want to show I'll show you what I mean by the react the react is if I go back to my profile so this here these are the parts right this is a react right a react is a video where you post the person's video in right and then you have that there I don't know why there's no sound this is kind of weird when I'm looking at my own videos right there's no sound but anyways so that's that's that that's a react so that react this video here if we look through here this is this one this is the react right over here so when I first posted it I had three views and then five and then so far I've had 13 views on it it's really really very useless right very sucky right if I look at the other one which was a stitch a stitch over here so what's a stitch a stitch is when you take somebody else's video and you append you to the end of it so it'll take the first I think five seconds or ten seconds of their video and then you can stitch on the end your thoughts on it I don't know if you can do more than that but that's what a stitch is so if I go back to my profile and I show you that one there the stitch oops why did it go back there um so my my that's that stitch was down uh, that, that was down here so the stitch will the stitch is different because it looks like it's his video right looks like it's him on my account I don't know which one I, I like better because I did do stitches before I know stitches are relatively new I did some reacts before uh but that's uh and then this is the this is what the stitch is right so you it plays him first it plays him and then after then it's me whatever I want to say at the end right it's just actually me right there right so that's me showing what I'm doing and I'm explaining what I did and uh, showing the results I've got so far at that moment right so that's a stitch and the results for that stitch were right over here so we had the results of the stitch we started at 58 grew 76 82 that was about you know about an hour in and it kind of stayed to that until the next day when it grew to 161 now like I said all these numbers here in the in the perp in the pink are our estimates I just kind of took the 86 that was here at the, at the 10 hour mark and the 161 I got at the 34 hour mark and I just kind of averaged it out just to kind of just to kind of show the progression that I that is probably likely but maybe not guaranteed but anyways I got 161 166 right it's kind of still growing a little bit and it started off at 58 so it's that's pretty good that this video after a day or even no that's two days right two days it like doubled right it's more than double 52 it's like three times three times three times the views that it had in the beginning and it's still getting a few little views right here and there right 165 166 right so that's that's uh, that's the stitch and then the other thing I did is at the end I I started doing other videos right so these other videos 
like this iTunes one uh, which is this one over here let me show you that back here the iTunes one uh, let me go back here is this one here this iTunes one is right here I'm on iTunes this one here right I'm on iTunes 193 views now and when I first posted it it had 170 right and that was uh let's just uh, find some of this I'm trying to remember sorry I haven't used this particular uh well I guess I can't really uh let's just uh, let's just do this no. anyways okay so over here I have there so over here I wanted to show you the 170 was at a 57 hour mark and then this one at 165 that's a week later almost right that's kind of the results from 170 193 so not a big change but it did get 170 the very first day this one did get 213 this one got 72 and that was this was the iTunes and then the gardening and the let's talk personal branding right so these are the three personal branding and then I did another one with the episode the another episode I did and I showed you uh how to do a lip sync and I did a lip sync which is Kevin Hart right here hey I'm Kevin Hart this is a this is one that I like doing because it's it's like you know one of those lip sync ones that's kind of fun right so I did that and I see one of my friends they look at that they had some I had some comments I got to go back and reply to these comments I didn't re I didn't even realize I had comments that's awesome oh you can't see them here let me just show you so I have some comments here from some friends right over there so some of my this guy here Daniel Thompson is really cool he follows and he really does uh, lots of uh, comments and activities and this is Smitty I'm not sure who that is but I'll go I'll go check it out but that's yeah so that's the uh, the uh, the lip sync one that I did here to show uh I'm on TikTok and as you can see it's grew right 186 144 98 now these ones are just new so I don't know what they're going to get tomorrow but they're, they're, these are from a, a, a yesterday and the day before so yeah so that's what happened when I tried to do 20 videos in one day well actually like I said I did 35 videos in two days and I got results like well the results I got let's just say let's just go back to here the results I got is you know followers from 755 to 767 I wouldn't say that, that was that was great because it's really just a growth of 12 new followers so it really didn't give me any growth the other thing uh on average the average views I'm getting in my videos per video didn't change at all 35 to 35 if I add it all up and I average it out of the number of videos I have from the moment I started this right where I say I had six videos there now I have 47 I mean I have a lot more than that but this is just since I started the, the, tr the challenge right the try so I got uh, 35 36 I got 50 on average here you know 46 on average 50 on average so really it didn't grow I and you know even the number of videos I'm views I'm getting right now didn't really change so I'm I'm not saying that doing 20 videos in a day is not a good idea but definitely don't want to do it the way I did it and uh and that's kind of the results I got so hopefully this helps you to understand some of the ways that the TikTok is working how it's affecting you know your views and how it's letting you uh let me just uh, move that here so you know hopefully you can see how TikTok is some of it some of the metrics some of the internals how it how you can get views in the next in the, in the first 24 hours the effect but you still get some views on certain things after a week so you that's why they say don't delete your videos right because you can get more views if you just keep at it and you keep going you're going to get views you're going to get posts you're going to get people seeing your stuff you're going to get people if they comment if they liked your stuff that's just how it works with TikTok all right have yourself a great day we're going to talk again soon and until next time We'll see you in the next episode. This has been Course Income Secrets. 
the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, 